Hey, Chad German here, and uh, I'm outside next to this electrical meter because I'm going to do a short video for you guys real quick on Chapter 2. This is for all my students there at Mountain Land Technical College. We're getting into Chapter 2, and uh, Chapter 2 um, is really important. It's really important to know the uh, components and the parts of your, your meter base because this is where it all starts, and it's important to understand what a grounded conductor is, ungrounded, and... Uh, a grounded conductor and that's where this all starts so I'm gonna go through that real quick uh, with a short video here to just kind of break that down and then we can get into chapter 2 uh, into the articles like 200 210 215 and so on so uh, let me break that down for you real quick well, like I said I'm out here at a service um, that's also covered in, in chapter 2 it's article 230 um, but a cool thing about a service is it really does have a lot of components that are in chapter two especially where you get like grounding and bonding so chapter uh so article 200 for an example is talking about that middle conductor which is the the grounded conductor and i can get into that with what the difference between a grounded ungrounded and grounding is right here at this panel but this is about chapter two um and so 250 would be about um grounding and bonding and you would have that whole component there in in uh, article 250 okay over current protections here in 240 um you know the system here goes to earth that's going to be uh that's going to be your grounding electrode conductor that's going to be your grounded conductor or your neutral that over here is your equipment grounding conductor or also part of your grounding electrode conducting system and then you have your ungrounded conductors here that go into this over current protection device again that's going to be found in two, uh, 240, 250, and then over here you have a feeder, uh, this SER cable with all those cables coming in other than the, the grounding electrode, and that goes into a panel on the inside of the house. That's called a feeder, and that'll be in 215. Brandt circuits, uh, they're not shown out here at this service. Some services might have that in them, um, but they're from the last overcurrent protection device to the loads in your house, so from your panel to a light switch, uh, a light switch, and a light, or to maybe a uh, an outlet or a receptacle in your house. Those are Brandt circuits. They're not right here in my service on the side of my house, um, but they're going to be covered in 210. So I don't have everything in article, or sorry, chapter two right here, but I have a lot of the stuff at my service that's in chapter two. Um, so I'm hoping this helps you guys in school with kind of an understanding what you're getting into is wiring protection um, when you're in chapter two.